there. Good morning. It's Rich with Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California, the capital of California, city of trees. Anyway, see some trees here. Okay, this is not a finished image. I didn't do these windows or these windows, but I want to show number two of the um, window pull darken mode. Just for those of you still longing to see it work, because it's in all of its amazement. Anyway, so basically, here is my starting image. Uh, this was lit probably by one light left, one light right, and uh, bounced straight up off the ceiling. Uh, don't even worry about my windows for this, which once you don't have to worry about your windows, uh, exposed properly because you're going to do a separate shot for them really makes your day easier so much easier so much less work for your lights so here is the window shot I'm basically probably right by camera pointing my young new 563 straight at the window maybe a quarter power or half power but you can see it's overexposing the couch it's overexposing. Let's go back to the other image. You can see, look at the the, sh the luvaliers or the uh, shutters. Look at the wall. Look at the couch. Now, it's all overexposed. Now look at the view. And the view is underexposed. So that's the whole concept. Anything you don't want to have to select out for your mask, which are these wood slats and these pillows and this, these are all things you want to make sure are just slightly overexposed. And actually, I think I can do this window too over here because it's also brighter. So I'm going to do all four of these windows with this one trick. So I'm going to highlight my two frames. Again, this is the one frame I'm going to use, but I'm going to mask in the windows. Okay, as we do, edit in, open in layers, in Photoshop as layers in Photoshop okay I want to put as always I want to put what I'm going to mask in on top okay that's what I'm going to mask in so now I go down here and I'm going to add a new layer mask and I'm going to hold down option for a Mac alt for a PC click that okay so I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and again what I'm going to do first I'm going to select darken mode. That's the whole trick to this. Remember, as long as what you're masking in is brighter, it's not going to pick it up. It's only going to pick up what's darker. Okay, I have my brush set to, I want it set to 100% hardness, just because it's me. It's what I want, and 100% flow. When I do windows, that's what I want. When I mask in other things, I might do 3%. So, okay, basically we've got white selected, so I'm going to paint it in. And I'm just going to watch this just go right over everything. Over the pillows, over the couch. Da, da, da. Okay, now I'm going to go in a little closer. And as long as my frame is brighter, and I think it is, this one will work too. Okay, yeah, working too. Because it's right on the edge of not working. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, what I can do here too, to match this window a little more, is I'm going to go back, and I am going to lessen the flow down to 5%. And I'm just going to find a medium between the two so I don't have to redo the whole thing. There we go. Just a little bit. Okay. So, that's closer to this. And I didn't really want to see out here because that's his house right next to you. I might even blow that out a little more. But, but here, you know what? I'm going to even bring it down slightly more. I'm at 4% of eraser. There we go. There. It's kind of like bright, medium, 
and great window. So, okay, there you go. And I'm going to show you again. This is the, this is without the window pull. That's with the window pull. Great tool and time saver. So as always, and here's the finished image. I think I might have even done a little more masking of ambient in the shot. I probably added a fire, which I'll do a tutorial on adding a fire later, another day. But um, this works. I really I think it's a nice view, and it's good to have. So as always, always, please leave your comments. Put a thumbs up in there. Let me know if you really enjoy what I'm doing and it's helping you. So this is one of the greatest tools I've ever learned from Wayne Capelli and Peter Lyons. Thank you for sharing that. And I just uh, bring it to the masses. But uh, it's just the best tool we can ever use. So anyway, I'm going to uh, say goodbye. And this is, again, Rich Baum from Sacramento, California with Rich Baum Photography. Talk to you later. Helping photographers one at a time. <laughs>